and welcome to Sheena's Lifestyle Journey, where I talk to you about food, travel, health, and business. Today, uh, my focus is on travel. Why travel? Um, because I find that as Blacks, we are not seen that much in travel. So whenever we venture into an area of uh, travel, most places and most people are not used to seeing us as Blacks. And I would like to, in this video, talk about my experiences while traveling and um, just being Black as a traveler. It's not a bad thing. I think just it's just that we need more of us to start going out there and traveling um, so that the world can see that we are able to travel, we can afford to travel, and we can afford to do really good things for ourselves. Once again, my name is Sheena, and I want to share with you my initial travel to uh, the country of Belize. Um, it is a beautiful country, first off, very lush and filled with vegetations. They've recently um, just came through a hurricane, and but they're, they, the inland area looks pretty, pretty beautiful. And I wanted to share with you that. And then after that, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about travel in Belize. Belize is located on the Yucatan Peninsula. They have been known for several years as British Honduras. But before that, they were colonized by Britain. Here is a picture of a beautiful resort um, in the Cayo district in Belize that I will not be promoting, but instead I just want to give you a little history of uh, Belize. It is a country that gained their independence in 1981 from the UK. All right, so um, there I have um, pictures of the pool area. just walking along it is a beautiful 
country um, bordered by the Caribbean Sea and several Yucatan Peninsula countries. Notice the lush vegetation and how green the grass is. Very beautiful and many parts of the country is, has a very, very serene laid back lifestyle. Um, not some, like some other islands that are very hectic. Notice the roofs, the types of roofing that they do utilize. Those roofs are called thatch roofs. You would find them um, in many Mayan homes or built um, with um, that style. Many Mayan homes are built with that style in uh, the country. As I stated, this is a resort that we did stay at. Um, I will not be promoting it. I just want you to see um, just the beauty of how the place looks. The official language for the country of Belize is um, English. They also speak Spanish and uh, Creole or Patwa is also um, spoke, spoken there. They are very, um, many of the Belizeans are multilingual um, and they come from either a, an African Garifuna ancestry or the Yucata Mopan um, ancestry or Mayan ancestry. Okay. Mayans are mostly um, in throughout the country of Belize as they are the natives as this, of this country. Um, Belize, as I said, is a lush country filled with vegetations, but not only ve vegetations, but you see a lot of flora and fauna life. Um, there's lots of bird species, lots of butterfly species, um, lots of tropical species like iguanas, and um, their natural, their national um, animal. I, I can't remember the name, but I'll put that in another video for you. I'll put it in a video a little later for you. But here's one of their butterflies, one of the butterflies that's native to um, Belize. I think it's the blue, blue morph butterfly. Um, I think their lifespan is about, about two weeks long. And one of the good fun facts about this um, particular butterfly is that um, they, whenever you find them in a forest setting, uh, you must know that there's some sort of fruits around because uh, these blue morph butterflies are, are, they specifically feed off of fruits. let you know that um, the one of the cultures that's found in Belize um, that currently makes up the culture of Belize today is um, a group of people called the Garifuna people and they are people who are also of the Carib Indians, Arawak Indians and another group of Belizeans are known as the Mesoamerican Indians, also known as the Mayans, and they occupy the territories of Mexico, Guatemala, and um, Belize. And with them, you find most of them speaking the language of Spanish, um, and sometimes even their old um, Yucatan or Mayan languages. This is a beautiful group of people who um, are very hardworking, just like the Garifuna people. They make up the society of Belize through culture of food, and um, every culture works with food. But anyway, that's um, uh, the information I'd like to bring to you on the people of Belize. Now, just let's take a look at, you know, the vast mass of land that um, you can see here in this beautiful country. 
We are driving the back roads of the country area in the Cayo district of San Ignacio. Um, as you can see, it is so beautiful, so lush, a great place to visit, um, so rich in culture and history. You find a lot of Mayans in this area, uh, a very small number of Garifuna or even Blacks um, or dark-skinned Indians. Um, you find a very small number of them. And just to let you guys know, the Garifuna people, here's Ka'ana, um, a, a really large um, popular resort destination. Um, but anyway, they, the Garifuna people are, they do have, many of them do have African ancestry as well as Carib and Arawak ancestry in them. Um, but this is so beautiful. I just wanted you guys to just see for yourselves because there have been times I've been looking for information on Belize. Love to see how the outlook or the layout is. Um, this particular area, once again, is um, the Cayo district in San Ignacio. Um, they do have electricity here. So many, many people live off grid um, and enjoy a life of natural living and healthy living. That's not to say that people don't get sick because of uh, unhealthy eating um, practices. But um, this is going towards the countryside, basically up ahead, um, further up ahead, you would be able to, this route would take you to the Mayan ruin called Zunantinich and um, very popular Mayan ruin in Belize. But this is just, um, just come with me as we go along this countryside, very gorgeous. So initially when I started this video, um, it was really to focus on black travel. Um, because as black travelers, people are not used to seeing blacks um, travel, especially a lot of local places. And one of those places I can say, maybe even um, is the Kaya district. I, I lovely place. We got treated really well. Um, but I can tell just by being there when we were there, there's, they don't get much black travelers. And it's, I'd like to, if you're watching this video, I'd like to encourage um, African-Americans and anyone of Afro and Afrocentric heritage to take the time to travel outside of where you are so that other people can get used to seeing you and meeting you as a people so that people are not, um, I, I know of many other black travelers who said, oh, I've gone to Japan or Vietnam or China, and they just get stares. It's not necessarily um, selfish stares, but it's just a stare of curiosity because people are not used to seeing us. So it's important that we, um, uh, Ex experience the world by traveling, not only experiencing the world, but seeing places um, like, you know, places that you can go to. It's not, not everywhere um, Africans or Blacks um, are easily accepted. And I want you to know that um, because it is a fact of life. We don't know a lot of people are not used to us and then what's been portrayed by television and news you know speaks differently in the minds of others and until we start to go out there and show ourselves as a people um, then people will not know and understand who we are this world is vast with beautiful countries and a mixture of um, different cultures and backgrounds I'd like to take a moment to ask that you like and subscribe to this video.